Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Tips and welcome to part 2 of my video series on how to create a sales report in Microsoft Excel 2010. We're going to pick off where we last left off and basically for this second part we're going to go be going over uh, the autofill option in the months as well as some keyboard shortcuts. So to teach you what I mean about autofill options in the month let's click on let's go to column B uh, row 3 and let's type in January January then let's click the arrow right here this is to maintain the cell block active and now we're gonna click this little box right over here and we're gonna drag it across I'm gonna stop at E3 you can keep going as many months as you need to um, it's going to be the same concept uh, throughout the entire video it's just that you will most likely have to enter more data than I'll be entering anyways uh, that's pretty much how the autofill option works with the months now let's go over some keyboard shortcuts uh, first one is the arrow keys you can use the arrow keys to move around as you see I'm currently using the arrow keys to move around the cell blocks and I am not using my cursor anyways to go down a cell the next one is uh, to go down you press enter you can go down with enter or you can go up with shift enter and it will make you go up anyways uh, for the next one it's uh, these two are pretty much straightforward just like the arrow keys if you click page down it will take you down a full page and if you click page up it will take you back up if you were to keep pressing page down it will just keep going as you see I'm now in column A row 301 now let's go back up to the first page alright so for the next one if you were to click on home as you see right now I'm on E3 as I click home it takes me back to column A another one will be pressing control N and this is to take you to the last active cell so control N takes me to E8 um, the reason for this being is because over here it ends at in column E and then over here it ends at row A so the last active cell will be E8 next we also have tab which takes you to the right of a cell as well as pressing shift tab will take you to the left of a cell and those are pretty much all the um, main shortcuts for Microsoft Excel the ones that will make your job a lot easier if you don't want to be using your mouse anyways I hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful tune in for my next video part 3 where we'll continue off on trying to finish this sales report uh, remember if you found this video helpful in any way please leave a like below if you have any questions or concerns leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them as always remember have a nice day